Hello. Hi, everybody. <laughs> it's early morning here for me. <laughs> yeah. I was doing a speaker view. Oh, well, that's not going to go super well. Are those cats flying in outer space? Yes. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> Thanks. I'm wearing my Chateau Picard shirt today. Nice. Did you like the Picard series? We haven't watched it because we don't have CBS on demand. Uh huh. And we didn't really want to pay for it. And I know it was free for a little while, but we were in the middle of like 800 other things at the time. So I haven't watched it yet. I will probably sign up, watch the whole thing, and then immediately drop the service. Because I love, like, TNG was, was my Star Trek. I followed LeVar Burton from Reading Rainbow to Next Generation, quite literally followed him. I was like, I'm going to watch that because the Reading Rainbow guy is on it. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we joke about Uncle LeVar because... Um, Eric is the same way that he followed him to Star Trek and that started us down the nerd path, you know, like a whole generation of us probably that just followed along into nerddom. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was already into Star Wars at that point because my parents are big nerds too and they took me to see Star Wars. Well, they took me to see, um, they took me to see Return of the Jedi in the theater when I was like very wee tiny tiny and I remember it because it was so loud and it was because we needed air conditioning we were we didn't have air conditioning back then it was the 80s nobody had air conditioning back then right <laughs> and so we were we were trying to be comfortable and we watched Return of the Jedi and it scared the wits out of me but I maintained my love of Star Wars despite all that Star Wars was my first movie oh cool I fell asleep. <laughs> I was three. <laughs> I guess then Return of the Jedi is was my first movie then. I did not fall asleep at three though. I mean I was three, but I did not fall asleep. Yeah. I just like because it was so loud, Darth Vader was super scary. When you're three and Darth Vader is like <sighs> uh -huh. scary. And it's like loud from everywhere and you don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. The strongest memory for me. So my first movie memory, I guess, is Luke and Leia swinging on the grappling hook. Nice. That's a really good first memory. <laughs> Unlike my terror at Darth Vader. I don't remember what scene it was. It was probably like while Luke was being tortured. I honestly have no idea. I just remember it being super loud and scary and dark. And that, that was, that's what I remember of Star Wars. But then we had them, we, <laughs> we videotaped them off of like when they went into syndication on TV. And so we had um, A New Hope and we had um, Empire Strikes Back. And we watched those, those were what my mom would put on when she wanted us to like, when she needed to cook dinner or something, she was like, here, Star Wars, just go watch Star Wars. So that was like the keep the kids calm movies <laughs> when I was little, <laughs> which is, which is hilarious because Eric didn't watch them until he was a, an adult. And he's like, I don't understand why everybody loves these. I was like, oh, that's sad. Yeah, that is sad. I guess you had to experience them at like the right time in your life. Because now they, if you, if you have no experience, oh, hello, he's come to play Gloomhaven. Um, if you have no experience with them from like childhood, they look kind of hokey now because the, I mean, the effects still stand up, which I think is amazing, but they, they look kind of, you know, cheesy. They're not cheesy though. Hi, I don't really want this, but I'm going to throw that over there and you go away. He's going to, nope, he's not bringing it back. He's taking it to somebody else. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how that game works. <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't always work that way, so, but today, I guess he realized I didn't want it. He's not even a year old. That enormous dog you just saw is not even a year old yet, so he's going to get wow. bigger. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I forget he's a puppy, and I'm like, why are you behaving like this? Oh, <laughs> you're still a baby. <laughs> um. Anyway. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm Mark. 
I'm Melissa. We're playing Gloomhaven. Yay! I'm just sort of see my hands. Um, today's my birthday. Happy birthday! I already forgot. You told me last week that it was going to be on your birthday. Happy birthday! I'm one year younger than I thought I was. This whole year, I thought I was 47. <laughs> and then my mom asked me, how old am I? And I'm like, 47. <laughs> so <laughs> for a whole year, I thought I was one year older than that. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> I know exactly how old I am. <laughs> I don't know how old my siblings are, but I know how old I am. <laughs> I have to do math in my head. I'm like, wait, I, I was three, you know, like. <laughs> yeah. I still tell my students that I'm like 42 or late 30s or something like that. If I shave, I totally get away with it. <laughs> I have no idea how old my students, because I'm TAing this, this term, so I have students now. You still um, look like you're 20, honestly. 20? <laughs> Really? I have, well, they don't really card people here. It's not as big a deal here. They're like, eh, what are you going to do? Drive around the island? Fall off the mountain? Yeah, I mean, maybe it's Zoom. I mean, you look like you're, you're underage to me in Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> I am not 20. <laughs> Obviously, since I saw Return of the Jedi in theaters at three years old. That tells you how old I am. <laughs> Quick, do some math. It came out in 1983. <laughs> <laughs> um that's why didn't you put that on my nasaga profile the one time that i was melissa peterson the eternal <laughs> i feel like yes. for reno that was like my profile was melissa peterson the eternal because nobody believes i'm as old as i am <laughs> yeah you're a vampire i am i am i go nocturnal if you look at me funny <laughs> Um, okay, so last episode, we successfully completed the collecting of Drake scales so that we could give them to Hale, who uh, did some sort of doohickey thing, created some sort of doohickey thing with them, and made it so that we could rewater. water. Yes. We did that because we were investigating uh, the, I guess, poisoning of the town water or something like that? Yeah. Um, in the city sewers and uh, got to a place where we could investigate further, but only if we could breathe water because we, we had to go swimming, which I think is completely disgusting. Just got to say that again. Even <laughs> if you can breathe water, why would you want to swim in sewer rain? <laughs> well, I think and we could have gone around. Room. There was, excuse me, there was another way to go around, but that was way less interesting than getting water breathing. <laughs> But water breathing doesn't mean, okay, so you can extract oxygen from the water is what I'm assuming, but it doesn't mean that you're, you're filtering out any of the bacteria. I don't know. It's like a globe that we had to put down our throats. So maybe. Maybe. Maybe, well, when we maybe, the... maybe hail through that in for us. Mm -hmm, totally. It also purifies the water. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just hope. Let's just hope. Yeah. <laughs> gross. <laughs> Otherwise, we would start off with poison. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. And then we would have to like, you know, have diarrhea in the middle of the scenario or something like that. <laughs> I don't think that's in the game mechanics. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's gross. terrible. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, so I guess we did go to the city to give Hale that stuff so we could do a city event mm -hmm. and then I don't, I don't think know. we need a road event because it links to Gloomhaven so we don't have to do a road event okay so just a city event yes okay the city events are optional but they are I like doing them they are yeah, optional. I kind of like doing them too but I need a, a option c that's true most of the time anyway we'll see Okay. Did this work? I can see it. City event number 26. 
While enjoying your customary post-adventure drink at the sleep Sleeping Lion, you notice something weird going on with the lamps in the bar. Your first thought is that it is your imagination, but after staring at the lamps intently, you see they are flickering in and out. Tech lamps, as opposed to normal gas burning ones, have been known to be a bit unreliable. What well, so they have? <laughs> they're using um, CFCs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as if one, as if on cue, the lamps suddenly go out completely, leaving the room pitch black. Do we offer the fixed lamps? Shouldn't be too hard with a bit of technical know-how. And you're a techie person. Yeah, I am. Or do we take the opportunity to steal some valuables from drunk patrons in the dark? <laughs> I think option A. <laughs> I guess so. And then recommend they buy LEDs instead of... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> stop, using, stop using fluorescent lamps. It's so good. <laughs> yeah. I, so I had an LED bulb stop working last week. Wow. And I discovered that even though LEDs themselves can last decades, the circuit board that controls the bulb can still burn out. Interesting. I've, I've ruined one LED bulb by um, the, the, it was an old fixture and it like basically just shorted all of it out, shorted the whole thing out. So that's what I get for buying an old house. <laughs> Okay, we're going to try to help the bar. Yay! You, all right. You quickly identify the source of the problem, some frayed wiring in the kitchen, and have it replaced in no time. The proprietor seems very impressed by your work and gives free drinks all around in your name and gains your reputation. Woohoo! And destroy the card. We're now at reputation 12, which means we get to take three gold off of the price at the shops now. Awesome. I'm all about discounts at the shops. I haven't wanted to buy anything for a while. See, I went on a rampage last time because I got my cloak of pockets and I now have so many items. I'm really excited about them. I even told my husband, who does not care about Gloomhaven at all, about my pockets, my cloak of pockets. And he was like, okay, honey. <laughs> we, are, we are one of those very rare uh couples where the the um female member of the couple is a gamer and the male member of the couple is not a gamer it's very strange people are like oh your husband must love that you're a gamer i'm like mm, no <laughs> <laughs> he prefers i keep that to myself <laughs> okay okay that's probably good enough for you. Um, we are on scenario 26. Is something on here? fire? Hmm? Is something on fire? Oh, uh, I think it's just a um, garbage truck backing up. Okay. It sounds a little bit like a fire alarm, and I was concerned that maybe you were on fire. That would yeah. make for a really exciting YouTube video, though. It happens often enough that I'm completely desensitized to it. So. <laughs> If something is on fire, I wouldn't even, it wouldn't even be a sufficient alarm. <laughs> That's the, ours say, says, ours talks. Oh, really? In the kitchen, you yeah. You on fire. <laughs> your valuables and yourself. <laughs> no, no more like there is smoke in the kitchen. Warning, there is smoke in the kitchen. It's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway. So now we're in the ancient cistern. Yes. Ready to fix the water supply. Would you like to read the intro? I will certainly read the intro. Oh Lord. The water grows dark, black as a cloudy night sky. You cannot see your hands paddling in front of your face, but you press on. Before too long, you spot a light in the distance. It takes all the effort you have left, but eventually the light grows bigger and you emerge from a pool of fetid water, grateful that you can breathe freely once again. You. The relief, however, is short-lived. The room is swarming with menacing green masses of ooze and undead. You flop out onto dry land and try to catch your breath, readying your weapons for another battle. Nice. There are special rules about curse cards, but both Mark and I were very smart and got rid of negative scenario effects early on, so we don't have to have curse cards. 
That's it for now. I'd actually forgotten we had done that. <laughs> you were starting to get nervous. <laughs> yeah, I was like, three? Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, we did. We, I did it, and then you were like, wait, that's the thing we can do? And then you did it. It's exciting. So we swam through the water while breathing it, and we had our eyes open. That's totally nasty. <laughs> no, I have goggles. You had your eyes open, but I put my goggles on. Oh, wait, I have goggles, too. Good, good idea. Yeah. They're not waterproof goggles, though. Are they? They, t they might be. You don't know. I trust in my fellow, what are they? My fellow quatrails to have put waterproofing on the eagle eye goggles, just in cases. Okay. Come on, it's engineers. Engineers do weird things. Like hey, don't you remember that Simpsons episode? Which one? The goggles, they do nothing. <laughs> I don't think I saw that one. <laughs> it's the one where uh, a movie production company comes into town. They're making an uh, Fallout Boy um, movie. Oh. <laughs> Bart gets cast. No, Millhouse gets cast as Fallout Boy. Uh, and Rainier Wolfcastle is playing, I forgot his name, but the guy who says up and at him. Up and at him. <laughs> but then it's where he has to put on goggles and they're in like some warehouse with some radioactive gunk. And uh, there's an accident and the radioactive gunk actually spills everywhere or whatever. Or <laughs> sludge or something like that. And he, he's like, he surfaces or something like that. And he goes, it's the goggles. They do nothing. Oh, no. <laughs> oh the Simpsons. <laughs> Still on TV. Not sure how, like, you can't. It's have on it. Disney Plus now. All, all the episodes are on Disney Plus, I think. Yeah. I remember not being allowed to watch it when it first came out. Because it's been like 30 years or something. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I was young enough that I was not allowed to watch it when it first came out. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's older than about half of the millennials. <laughs> yeah, it's certainly older than my students. Um okay. Uh we start in here in this room. Mm-hmm. Because we just crawled out of this water pit. I'm trying to decide where to go because we've got a an elite guy that looks like he's from Diablo. Mm -hmm. and two slimes that are not elite. Oh, and we have to do these things. Right. The slimes probably need to get... Well, okay, so the slimes might kill themselves. Right, if they split up. Oh, then, right. I forgot that they do that. Yeah, they might do that. They also, they also, they also they, might just sort of reproduce uncontrollably. Yeah. Um, they also have a shield, don't forget. That's the other reason I wanted this, because I wanted to be able to see. I'm, I'm trying some new high-tecker things, including I will eventually have a high-tech, maybe, campaign tracker. More high tech than I already have, except for it's being a little weird to set up. So not this week. Okay. Oh wait, sorry, hold on, show me those again. Okay, I got it for real this time. Okay, I have decided. I'm gonna do this one. I'm doing this one. Okay. Okie dokie. I don't need these now because I'm doing everything on my phone. Well, let's see how hard these guys are. Um, we're doing normal, right? 
We're doing, I chose uh, level two. I, yeah, that's normal for us. My doorbell just rang. Uh, I'll be right back. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. So the living corpse. Wow, this is really chunky. <laughs> like you can't really see it very easily. Um, yeah, that's weird. Last time it was clearer. It's clear on my phone. Oh, I remember we did this. Uh... Sideways view. Yes, sideways view worked better. There. How do I? Uh, whatever. Trying to play with things while I wait and failing. Anyways, Living Corpse has 13 hit points, but nothing else special about them. Mm -hmm. The oozes have seven hit points each, and they each have shield one. And the oozes uh, sometimes divide, hurt themselves and divide. Yeah. Um, I don't remember what the Living Corpse does. Wait, was that the oozes or was that? Ouch. I thought it was the oozes. I think it was the oozes too, but I don't remember off the top of my head. I, I just feel like they had, they, they didn't have that many hit points. They only had like four hit points. The things that split. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. Um, well, the dude's closer. Maybe we should just try to take him out first. Yeah, we should figure out where we're standing first. I guess I'll stand right next to him, like right here. OK, I will stand. Or maybe he doesn't go very fast. So like we could go like here and attack these guys. You know? <clears throat> Yeah, his, well, actually, both of them, their basic movement is one. So, so they're all slow. Yeah, I guess we'll go for him first. Okay, I'm going to just be, like, right behind you in the corner because I can shoot at him from there. My okay. range is typically long enough for that. And what are we trying to do? We need to cleanse... Um, Water pumps. Water pumps. And um, so the special rules are that there's water pumps and they spawn black imps. And uh, we have to cleanse two because there's only two of us. Okay. But they're way over here. So we have to get over there and cleanse them. Okay. And we do that by just foregoing the bottom of a card and discarding that card instead. Okay. Shouldn't be bad. Let's see, we need to take this guy out. Um... He has 13 hit points. Sure. I have an idea. Can I start here instead? Sure. Because this is what I'm going to do. Or I think. <laughs> I'm going to pull him towards us. And because he's next to both of us, I'm going to get like a massive bonus to attack him. OK. So then I sh need to go first. You go before me, yeah. Yeah, OK. 
so that I do not have disadvantage. Right. Because I don't have like any place to go. Right. We'll kill him. No problem. <laughs> or die trying. <laughs> Shortest episode ever. What did I just do? I can't find the card I was just looking at. <laughs> it's way too early for me. Oh, geez. I would try to let you go first, but all my cards are so low. Oh, okay. Well, then, what can I do instead? <laughs> so, this won't work because. Because if I do it, I'm going to go before you. So instead, uh, I'm going to, I guess, move up to him and attack him. <laughs> okay. And then you don't have to worry about. Okay. Either okay. way. So that means I'm not using this one. I'm going to. Sure. What? What did I do? Not sure. <sighs> Here, I'll do this in case. Okay, I got 16. Okay, I have 19. And you're right, I cannot beat that one. That's like one of your lower cards, slower cards, and I couldn't. Uh, I mean, well, yeah, I've got like range is basically four through 12 and then i have some that's like i have one that's like 36 and one that's like 94 you know so like I, i'm either going first or i'm going last you know <laughs> <laughs> okay me first, then you, then the oozes are going to move zero, but attack with range four. Shoot. <laughs> Stupid oozes. <laughs> Corpse. Has a move of one, attack five, and poisons all adjacent enemies. Wow. <laughs> We're maybe not going to win this one. <laughs> I could, okay, so if I didn't go here to attack him, if I ran, if I retreated, none of those three guys won't be able to do anything. Yeah, because I'm too far away from all of them. So maybe I should do that and then just get out this round. <laughs> You, I mean, I guess <laughs> I'll just valiantly stand in my watery corner. <laughs> no, I think we might be able to, I can do some serious damage to him. I can get him down probably at least six health. So okay. Okay. Um, all right. So I'm moving uh, one, two. Um, and attacking for three. Plus zero. Okay. Um, plus three points. One, two, three. And then I'm also attacking for another three. Plus one, four points. Okay. Okay. My turn? Yep. All right. I am attacking for three as well. 
attacking him for three as well, plus zero. So three more points off. And then I am I guess I'm just going to stand there because I feel like I'm in a pretty safe place right now. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to stay put. He almost died. Um, all right. The Slimers are all shooting at me. So this guy shoots me for three. Plus zero. So three points. So I need to heal you on this next turn, yeah? <laughs> Probably, yeah. Maybe I should have summoned my skeleton. Oh well, too late. Um, and the other guy attacks me. Three plus zero also. So three more points. And then you're about to get hit by the big guy too, right? Yep. The big guy. Um, Wow. <laughs> Attacks me for five. Minus one, four points. I'm down to two. Uh, gross. <laughs> you might want to run away <laughs> for this next turn. And you're poisoned, right? So now you're poisoned, so they all get plus one damage to you. Of invisibility. That's what I should have done. Oh, yeah, that's what you should have done. That's what I totally should have done. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, I'm poisoned. Um, okay. That was terrible. I could have avoided all of it if I was invisible. Oh, well. We might have to do this one over again real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because this is going to be super boring for everybody if I'm just like if trying just... to win it myself. <laughs> <laughs> the Melissa show. Yay. OK. I am ready. Um, should I be attacking it or what? Well, I'm not attacking anything this turn. Do I need to end relatively close to you? Uh, you can, yes, relatively. Not, you don't have to be next to me, but. I shouldn't like run all the way over here or something like that. Yeah, please don't do that. That will make things much harder to do. Okay, I guess we'll do that, and then... Oh god, okay. Um, I've got four. I have 17. Push and poison, and the guy is going to move and attack. Your your microphone just did something weird. I can't hear you at all. Oh, now I can hear you. It was like the microphone got whacked by something. It sounded like it fell off the desk or something like that. It was like a kablam, and then. You, Weird. Yes. I mean, I'm using the built-in mic on the tablet here. So. Ghosts. I am. <laughs> Let me check all my Zoom settings here. Yeah. Muted. This one's muted. Yep. It's just a tablet microphone. Whatever. Um, anyways, hacking for three. 
plus one, four points. He died, did. Yay! Dead. Uh, and then I am dead. These guys, so they're gonna not move. They have a range of two, so I'm not in range. And they're gonna push and poison any adjacent people. Right. So they're not gonna do anything if I if I stay where I am. Yeah. And if you stay where you are. Okay, so I'm not gonna do anything. Okay. Get, wait, one, two. I'll move on to the loot. <laughs> As usual. Okay. I am healing you for four. Oops. One, two, three, four. And then I'm moving up to one, two. And I'm healing off your poison. Or I'm doing that in the opposite order if I was supposed to take off the poison first. Either yeah. way. OK, thank you. You're welcome. And those slimes aren't doing anything, and so it's next round. Mm -hmm. Slimes. Seven hit points each. That's kind of a pain. Yeah. I don't know. I have three. I have 18. They have 59. They're going to attack at range, targeting two people, range three. So right now we're in range. Okie dokie. Um, Okay, I am going to shoot them. That seems reasonable. <laughs> I've got range three as well. Do you think I could shoot two of them if I got in range of the other guy too, but then if I leave my turn, if I end my turn there, then they're both going to shoot me. Um, and you don't you're at half health, so that we might want to take an extra turn to defeat them instead. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'll shoot one guy and then decide if I need to move or whatever, I guess. Okay. I'll shoot one guy. Um, it's only attack of two, though. Plus one. Three points of damage. Which one? The guy closest to you? Yeah. And then, because I didn't kill him, I should move. So I have to move here to get out of the range. OK. Yeah. OK, your turn. Okie dokie. Um, I am also attacking that guy for two with a range of three and poison. And I whiffed sad. And then I'm moving back to where I was before, back into the corner. Okay. So now I'm also out of range. They don't but move. Do nothing. Nothing. They don't do anything. Yep. Next round. <laughs> like we're playing a dance. 
<laughs> Whoa, throwing cards. All right, I have 36. I have 20. They've got 66. You go first. Oh, and they're not doing anything exciting. That's cool. OK. I'm going to move back to where I was before, now that they're not going to shoot me. And I am attacking and stunning this guy. Attack of one, plus one. And I heal myself for the no damage that I've already taken. So attack of two and stunned. OK. Stunned. Uh, this one. Do you know if he still heals while stunned, or is his turn like completely forfeit? I think his turn is completely forfeit. Cannot perform any abilities or use items except to perform a long rest. Oh, I forgot they've had a shield. Oh, whoops. We've hit them twice? Three or times now. OK. So no, I missed. I missed. I'm sorry. Only twice, because I missed. OK, but he's at, so he's at four now, though, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, okay. Uh, well, I guess I should try to finish him off. So I will <sighs> I guess I'll shoot him. I'll shoot him for three times two. Are you within range? Yeah, it's a range four attack. One, two, three, four. Okay. Um, so I do six minus one for his armor or shield, so that's five. He's dead. And then um, I guess I'm moving. Should I just move up right next to him? One, two, three, since he's not. He's not hitting anything, so sure. OK. That's what I do. And oh, for force one adjacent enemy to perform one movement, I'm going to force him to go here. So that he loots? Does he loot? Yeah, he's got loot right now. Oh, you're right. So that. It's loot one though, so he'll loot anyways, right? Oh, will he? It's like a what? Yeah, that, you're right. He is going to loot it anyways. Yeah, he'll loot. I was hoping. I didn't know that he was looting. I was hoping that if we killed him, there would be two gold there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but he's looting, so he's just going to take it. Yeah. Unless you kill him. No, you already went. Okay. Sure. He's not moving. He is looting. He's healing for zero. Mm -hmm. Okay, next round. And I have to do a short rest because I only have one card left. Okay. Oh, man. All my cards are so good now, but this one's good, good. <laughs> <laughs> I have like one or two that are still like, eh, okay-ish, because they start you off with lots of healing spells, and not all of the healing spells are good healing spells, but I held on to them anyway, just in cases. So I'm hopeful to get some more exciting stuff. Next level. 
All right, I should attack this guy. Probably, yes. All right, I've got 11. I have 37. He has 57. He's going to move and attack. Bleh. Range three. We might be able to kill him. Um, Probably not, because I'm not going to be helpful. I'm going to attack him for four and a wound. Ooh, nice. Oh, no, sorry. It's only when he's adjacent to a, a friend, so not wound. But anyways, four plus one, that's five. Minus one for the shield. Yeah. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to attack him again for three. Plus zero. Minus one for the shield, that's two. He's not dead. Okay. I thought I was going to do one thing, but I'm going to do something totally different. So I'm going to move up one, two, three, right next to him. And then I'm going to attack him for two. I hardly ever use this because I hate being <laughs> adjacent to things. All right. Attacking for two, minus one. I do zero damage. Oh, boo. <laughs> <laughs> so ridiculous. Uh, yeah, we'll move because he's doing a ranged attack. So he's going to move one back and then shoot me for two. Two plus one. Shoot me for three. Oh, man. I have three right now. I see that. I was planning to help with that, and instead I tried to, like, kill him, and instead... <laughs> it's okay. You try. <laughs> oh, I'm going to do a short rest, because I'm down to two cards, and I don't like either of them. Okay. Let's mix these up. I'm going to hopefully finish them off and then move. Super sad. Wait, what do I do if I don't want to lose that card? I lose a point, right? Lose a health point. I thought it was two health. Two health? All right. Mm, that one's that one's better to lose. Ugh. Well, you know we're we're still recovering from this nasty, nasty swim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it um, was such a gross swim that we are still recovering. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready now. I'm 36. I have 17. He has 94. He's going to suffer two damage and split. He's going to die. We don't have to attack him at all. OK. That's cool. Those are um, traps. Line traps? No, uh, stun traps. OK, so I'm going first, right? So I'm going to heal you for three. Yay. And then I'm going to. Move back one just so that I'm not right in the doorway when you open it. And that's what I'm doing. You can move in. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. Okay. I guess it could be a good idea. Let me peek. No, there's a dude like right there. But I'm gonna be I'm gonna be going in because I have nothing else to do right now.
Well, no. I guess the question is, is can you get past me? I think so. You know what? You know what? I'm going to go in. And then I'm going to summon my skeleton. Once I've once I'm in here. Okay, so we need So you're at the door? I'm at the door, yes. I need you're right, May. I need this guy. Skeleton. And two more slimes. I need a more slime right now. I know, but I need a yellow slime. Okay, I just let you. It's okay. I got it. Why is there nine with colors? Because the ones with the yellow stands are more powerful. And I'm summoning my skeleton. And then we've got to populate skeleton right there. And then we should see one what of these guys. Oh wait, no, he's two. Three and two. And well, I mean. The sad thing is, is that those two slimes are now immediately going to split. Yeah. Well, maybe by the time we get there, they'll keep splitting and have killed themselves. Maybe. Um, the night demon is going to go immediately after you. So if you're done, then the night I, demon. I am now done. The night demon is going to move four, attack three, all adjacent enemies and allies suffer one damage. If there's a... Uh, power thingy, but there isn't. Yeah, we don't have a power thingy. So he's going to go wipe out my skeleton, which is most of the reason why I summoned the skeleton to begin with. Um, to attack for three. Three plus zero. Yeah, he's dead. Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> good <Sad>. absorption. <laughs> All right. Sponges instead of skeletons. Yeah. <laughs> he stops up the damage, goes away. <laughs> uh, now it's my turn. I'm going to... One, two, three, four. I'm going to shoot him for three. Oh, you gain disadvantage. Just After step three, Disadvantage. Like just in general or only melee attackers? Just I in think general. in general. I'm gonna use the gagas. Okay. So that it cancels out. Yep. So I just draw a card. Plus two. Woo! Three plus two is five. So he's down to six. Cool. And then I'm moving. Two people in front of you, right there. You are oh, okay. And then this guy, we're just slimes, right? Yeah, this guy dies. This guy dies. Bye, bye, slime. I guess he leaves a gold. Yeah. Um, and the other guys. Summon normal ooze with hit points value equal to the summoning ooze's current hit points value. So wait, first off, let me remove this. So each of them suffers two damage. One, two, one, two. And then they each summon an, an ooze. Right. So the, guy, the one that gets summoned by the elite doesn't have nine hit points, it only has seven hit points. Right, right. Oh, okay, yeah, because they're normal oozes. Mm -hmm. Need one so more. Two of these guys. So I guess the one goes on the loot or the where does he go? I think he goes on the loot here. Yeah. Between and the, the other one goes on the other side of that boulder. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so eight has seven hit points. Number four. Okay. Okay. Good. Get around. How many hit points does this guy have? Six. God, I don't know. I guess I have three. Um, I have 47. He's, he has seven. He's going to move five. That's, I guess he won't move. Attack three. Turn invisible, but he can't. That's funny. If I had turned invisible, there would be a black um, man. Then he would turn invisible. He would turn invisible. <laughs> so it's good. Like I almost did that last turn. So I'm glad I didn't do that. <laughs> I'm using the uh, an app to do it this time. Makes it a little bit easier for me. Um, okay. I uh, have this gain advantage on all your attacks this round. Uh, and then I'm attacking him for three. Okay. Just draw one card because he has that stupid thing. Yeah. Plus one. So four points. Ooh. Um, and I think I'm done. That's all I can do. Okay. So then he's gonna attack you. Yep, for three. Plus one, four, geez. Uh, Ouchie. This is all about me trying to keep you alive. <laughs> yeah. It's your turn. Okay, I'm attacking him for three. Um, I'll use, I'll use my goggles just to negate his disadvantageness. Plus one and wound. So attack of four, so he's dead. Yay. And he's wounded too. He's got a wound on the ground. Okay. There's a <laughs> gap on the ground. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna shield both of us because I can. Okay. We both have one shield. Just in case the the um guys manage to attack us. They're, yeah, we're not in range. They do nothing. They do nothing. That's not, there aren't any though in there. Once we defeat these oozes, no more oozes. 
No more oozes. Um. Oh, wait. I just remembered that you are super sad right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I had a plan and then I realized that I should really heal you. <laughs> I don't really have much I can do here. Because of imminent death? Well, because I only have, I'm down to two uh -oh. cars. I have to use these two cars, so I don't, th I can't really do anything to those guys at least. Okay, um, hold on. Yeah, I'll do. Like, I could just take a long rest. Um, yeah, might as well. I was gonna, yeah, do that. Okay. That'll heal me for some. Yeah, and I'm gonna heal you for some too. I've got 99. I have 20. They have 36. You go first. They're going to move and then have a range of three. So move two. I think we're still safe. We're safe, yeah. OK. Um, so I'm going to heal you for four. OK. And then I'm going to move on to the loot. Dang it, want loot. And that's my turn. Okay. Um, let's see. So they all move two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, like that, I guess. Yeah. And then we're not in range, so they don't do anything. So mm -hmm. I'm doing long rest, which I just did, and next round. Oh, you get two health back, yeah? Yes, so I'm at eight. Okay. All right. I have 46. I have three. I feel like the people watching must get bored of watching us look at our cards silently. <laughs> <laughs> we need like, some. 
I guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have like two viewers or something like that. So <laughs> I'm imagining they probably only watch like five minutes. Yeah, I don't know. I know that one of the mats said that he like puts it on in the background and gets yeah. excited at the end. <laughs> Maybe we should start adding a soundtrack or something to make it interesting. I tried it that one time and it was like too loud and distracting for me it, for you to hear it. So like yeah, I feel like, like we in post production. Maybe I should add a soundtrack. That would be cool. It would have to be non copyrighted music though, otherwise YouTube will block it. Oh, true. Um, Just get made to sing stuff for us. And then I'll layer it on top of our videos. <laughs> <laughs> you could probably get like one of those ambient soundtrack things going. That's what we tried. Remember, we tried to have like the ambiance going on, and that was loud. I don't know. Anyways, um, <laughs> I so the way that advantage and disadvantage work. I was next to one of them, but I'm not attacking that person and I'm attacking somebody else, then I don't get disadvantage, correct? Wait, what? If I was right here, so I'm next to one of them, but I'm yeah. going to want to shoot this guy. I'm yes, not only, it's only the one you're actively attacking. Okay, that's good. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to move one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to shoot this guy. OK. Um, and I actually get advantage because this ability, this movement card gives me advantage. OK. So attack three plus zero or plus one. So attack a four on the He has a shield, so it's attack three, really. Attack three. One, two, three. Yep. And then, I don't know. I guess I'm saving my skeleton for the big room. OK. I'm, I'm not saving my battle bot for the big room because there's like a lot more slimes here than I think there's, there's going to be stuff further on. So I'm summoning my battle bot. Actually, first I'm moving up. No, no, their range is three, right? Yeah, but they'll shoot your battle bot, not you. Or they're shooting me, not you. That's true. Well, I'm going to move up one and then summon my battle bot to like the, right by the boulder. Okay. He's a little more, he's a little less squishy than the skeleton. And then is that your turn? That is my turn. Okay. They're all shooting me now. Um, I guess I go in order. So the the elite will shoot me for three. Oh, maybe I should have sent my skeleton because they're all going to shoot at me now. Yeah, they are. And they're doing like two and three attack. Yeah. So can we say I have some of my skeleton? Well, except for that, where are you going to put him? Right here. OK. That works. And that way, they all shoot him instead of me. Or you could have gone invisible. Hmm. Then they'd all shoot my battle bot, who will die. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, we'll do the skeleton. Um, <laughs> Okay, so this guy has attack of three on the skeleton, minus one, two points on the skeleton. Okay. So skeleton has what? Three? Three. Okay. Um, number two is this guy. He doesn't have to move anywhere. So shoot one, two, yeah. He doesn't have to sh move anywhere. Attack a two on the skeleton. Minus one, so attack a one. Skeleton's dead. Skeleton is dead. Bye-bye, skeleton. Number 
four is this guy. One, two, three, doesn't have to move, will shoot me for two points. Plus one, three points on me. Uh, your microphone did that thing again. I can't hear you. Oh. Doing this does nothing. <laughs> okay, and now I can hear you again. It's like your microphone just cuts out for a minute. It like has a moment and then it comes back. Okay, that's weird. Yeah. Well, I mean, I could switch the microphone to this microphone. That might be, let me try that real quick. Okay. Ooh, that's not good. Oh. Well, <laughs> I don't even know why there would be that feedback. I don't know. It sounds like it sounds like interference or it, it literally sounds like something whacks into it and it falls down and then like you fiddle with it and it it, pick, it gets picked back up. That's what it sounds like. It's like a and then you're quiet and then you poke at it and then it's fine. Maybe um the tablet is about to fall asleep. Let me plug it in. I don't know. It it's happened on other ones, but it's only happened like once instead of yeah, I think it's three times now that it's happened. So Okay. Well it's now plugged in. We'll see if see if that does anything. Um there's one guy left. This guy left. He moves backward one to so that he can shoot at me. You have five health, right? I kind of lost track in the weird microphone. Mm -hmm. Yes, and now I have one health. Okie dokie. I should have used a cloak. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Next round. Wow. Jeez, these guys are mean. These guys are mean. So mean. Do you have a healing potion by any chance? I have a stamina potion. I can uh, refresh cards, but not health. Okay. I'm trying to figure out when to do my area of effect spells, but I also need to keep you alive because then I'm on my own if I don't keep you alive. So I'm struggling a little bit with that. I have. Okay. I can keep myself alive another round at least because I can turn invisible at the end of this round. So I should save the healing for next round is what you're saying? Yeah. I can okay. attack and then turn invisible. Okay. That will work. I can, I can. Yes, I can do this. All right, I've got 12. I have 19. They have 94. They're going to do the split thingy. OK. Um, OK. First, I am going to pull this guy towards me. Then I'm going to whack him. Ooh, actually, I can pull him two spaces. Can I pull him here? Sure. OK, then I'm going to whack him and gain a plus one because the battle bot's right next there. Cool. Now my battle bot doesn't need to move. 
So four times two, eight minus one for a shield is seven. Mm -hmm. Gone. Yay. And then I'm gonna flip on the cloak. And so I'm now invisible. Invisible. Okay. My battle bot is gonna move forward two, one, two, and whack this guy for two, plus one for three, so really for two. So that's, and then I am going to move, you know what, I'm going to move on to the loot. One, two, on to the loot, and um, this one. <coughs> I'm going to do my ink bomb, which hits all three of them for attack four. <coughs> Sorry, I'm dying now. And um, and it puts the dark symbol on. Ooh, dark symbol. All right, so I'm attacking just starting in the front of this first guy. Attack of four plus. This turn that uses the dark symbol. Oh, you use that card this turn? Yeah. Darn it. Um, okay, so uh, plus zero. So this is attack three on this first guy. One, two, three. And now the guy between him and the chest knight. Including the shield? Yeah, that's including the shield. Minus, th minus three. So he has two left? Yes. Okay. Um, so now the guy behind him towards the uh, treasure, I guess? Yeah. He has five four, right now. Four plus zero is again minus three. So that's one, two, three. And now the other guy. Attack of four plus one is five. He dead. Oh, no, he's not because minus one for the shield. So four, one, two, three, four. But well, they are all about to take two points of damage. So they're all yeah, about to get. Wow, that was epic. <laughs> that was, was that my ink bomb? I don't know why the ink bomb kills them so well, but the ink bomb is always a really good one. That's a really good one. That was crap. I didn't have to turn invisible. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> <laughs> you were so excited to turn invisible and then no invisibility for you. I it's, ink bomb them. Yeah. I feel like we're our timing is just a little bit off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, I'm going to do a long rest on this next turn because I have no more cards. OK, I'm going to move and then do a long rest. Okay. Or maybe just a short rest. I'm definitely doing a long rest. I can't find a good spot for my coffee. So that gives me two hit points back. All right, well, hold on. Uh, 99 for you. And I'm going to, which one am I going to punt? Oh, this guy definitely. Bye-bye. While I'm long resting, I'm going to go pour myself a little bit more coffee. Okay. Oh, and I get my goggles back too. Nice. One, two. Let's see, 66. For those of you watching at home, I just landed on our chest. And gained a volatile bomb.
Oh, you still only have one health, right? Are you there? Yeah, I do only have one health. I moved on to the chest. And okay. I gained a volatile bomb. You gained a volatile bomb? Yeah. During your single target range attack action, turn the attack into the following. It just turns one of my ranged attacks into an explosive attack. Oh. That's pretty awesome. It's like I have exploding arrows now. Um, and I'm going to do, I guess, a short rest so that we can be in. I just did it again. Uh, now you sound like a robot. No, give me your oil. <laughs> I thought you were gonna go into a, a plate of the Concords um song oh, there. Hmm? One zero 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 one. The humans are dead. We use poisonous gases. Now we poison their asses. <laughs> <laughs> Did you loot all this stuff as you went to the chest, by the way, or no? no I, didn't, I didn't loot any of it. Mark, I'm disappointed. <laughs> I know. I, 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 my card was discarded. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can loot some of it now, or I can just move. How, how many cards do you have? Uh, six in hand. Okay. And you just did a short rest. Okay. Yeah. Trying to keep track of when I need to switch over from healing you to recovering your cards. Yeah. Well, oh, I you still have a stamina potion, right? Yeah, I still have a stamina potion. Okay. Maybe I should do a long rest so just so I can get two health points. That's probably not a bad plan. Okay, I'll do that instead. So I get to choose which card to lose. Mm -hmm. If I do, and. Darn it. I like all my cards. I'm sorry. I'm losing this one. Yeah. Okay, so I'm doing a long rest then, so I get two hit points back. But anyways, this is the next round, and I'm at 99, and you are at... So I'm doing a long rest, and you are doing something. I am doing something, yes. I am at 48. Not that there's anybody in the room, so it doesn't really matter. One could spontaneously... I don't know. <laughs> that doesn't really matter. Okay, so my battle black guy is going to start moving towards the door, even though he can't open the door. How many spaces does he move? Just two. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to move two spaces. One, two. Loot a loot. And then I'm going to... Wait. Maybe your battle bot doesn't move if he has creature AI. He doesn't know that there's the doorways a path. That's true. If he has creature AI, never mind. He's back here, where he started. I feel like that's dumb. I feel like you can, you should be able to tell him to go forward. But that's yeah. not what I did last round. I mean, last scenario. Yeah. No. Apparently, we can't. It said that it moves with creature AI. I have zero control over him except for that I can just like okay hide which okay anyway and then yeah. I'm oh going God. to heal you for four all right I'm at seven over half yeah <laughs> and then you know what I'm going to use my stamina potion and take those cards right back out of my discard pile <laughs> <laughs> So 
So a net loss of zero on that one. <laughs> okay. I feel refreshed. You feel better, refreshed, good. I'm gonna run in and I'm gonna yell um, Leroy Jenkins and run in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that should totally add like one point of attack or something. <laughs> But it takes away like one point of shield or whatever. It takes away some armor. <laughs> hmm. Oops. What did she do? Oh, there he is. I don't know. One, two, three, four. Oh, Lordy. We're about to be like covered in imps. Well, uh, we'll see, I guess. Because this next room, there's no door between it and the pump room. This is all one big room. Yeah. So it's all going to spawn, and then the water pumps spawn imps. I have three. I lost track of what I was supposed to be doing. Well, I'm, I'm going to go and open the door and shoot something, hopefully. That's, all right. That's I have 17. Okay, uh, I'm gonna move uh, four. No, I'm gonna move five. Houses. One, two, three. Well, first I'll move three, and then we'll see what this is. Number one. Following the signs of corruption, you find your way into the final room of the chamber, hoping to finish off the rest of your advers adversaries, adversaries quickly. Instead, horror invades your mind as you view the scene before you. Four water pipes stand vertically in the back of the room. Uh, clear conduits for the pumping of the city's water. Attached to the pipes, however, are writhing black masses, poisoning the water running through. When you enter, some of the black mass drips down from the pipes, coalescing into the forms of small bulbous imps with mouths full of teeth. Gross. It's like Steve, a Stephen King movie, or I guess book. <laughs> the horde of demons and undead isn't exactly a welcome sight either. Special rules. A number of water pumps equal to the number of characters are present and must be cleansed to complete the scenario. Oh, are there only two? Yeah, we just have the one that A. We'll go a bottom action. I feel like this is one where you can like run in and we've already got the treasure chest. So you running in and um, and cleansing is probably a good plan. Like just ignore everything and go cleanse so that we don't have to kill as many imps because it's just, we just have to cleanse the water pumps. We don't have to kill everything. Okay. And I can tank. <laughs> okay. What we've got here, we've got, these are two stun trappy things. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got another flesh dude, but he's not in the lead this time. Yep. He still has a lot of health considering though. And then we have an elite imp and an elite night demon. Elite imp and an elite night demon. That's okay.
At the end of each round, all pumps that have not been cleansed summon one normal black imp. Yep. That's what makes me nervous. Okay. Uh, I moved one, two, three. I still have two. Um, yeah. All right, let's see what these guys do. Um, the corpse. The corpse is going to move to and take a damage. So he won't be attacking. The no. Imp The imp is going to move one, attack one with poison, range four, target two of us. Range four. One, two, three, four. I'm already in range. So I'm going to give you a hit by the imp. And then the night demon. Night demon is going to move three, attack five. One, two, three. I'll be out of range. Um, so the imp's going to attack me unless I'm not in range of him, but he's going to move. But it's only attack one at least. That's true, but he will poison. I'm basically, I can't get out of his range, so I'm just going to move up here with my last two. Next to the corpse guy. Yeah, and then I'm gonna shoot. Actually, I'll, I'll go right here. Okay. And then shoot uh, both of these guys. Okay. So first the corpse guy, an attack of two plus zero. So two points on the corpse guy. Unless he has a shield or something. No, he doesn't. He does not have a shield. And then um, attack a two on the imp, I guess. Does the imp have anything special going on? Other than I think he just poisons us. OK. Plus zero. Two points on the imp. Okay. Uh, and that's my turn. It's your turn. Would you prefer, wait a second, before I say this, would you prefer that I attack the imp or try to heal you? <laughs> I don't know. The imp is gonna poison me. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna do something crazy. All right, first my guy goes one, two towards the door. Okay. Then I use my boots of striding and I move into the doorway. One, two, three. And then I'm going to attack six, range five. Ooh. And attack the imp. Okay. So six. attack six. I'm using my crank bow. And just to make sure that things go well, I'm also using my goggles for advantage. Okay. So I've got plus one, or I've got two times. So he's like dead or super dead. Wow. Splatted. Super splat. And now I have to shuffle these. And this is gone. Okay, so now you don't need to be healed because I hulked out with my crank bow. Yeah. The crank, crank. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew having pockets would be useful. <laughs> uh -huh. The night demon moves three. One, two, three. And then doesn't do anything. The living corpse moves to, I guess, will move one towards me. 
and then suffers the damage. <laughs> that was a useful turn for him. Like he lost part of his animation, his corpseness. Like in Diablo or something. Okay, so my main duty is to go and seal these stupid things, right? Oh wait. Oh wait, they just spawned. Yeah, right? yeah. Where did they spawn? Wow, this is ridiculous. Um, I guess next to the traps. Or, you know, right here in the middle. Yeah. Oh, six. Can you actually, I'm trying to figure out, oh, there we go. I'm gonna take apart the beginning of this because we're not going back. There's no going back. I'm just trying to figure out how to make sure that you can see what's going on on my no. Table. My battle bot is still okay. There we go. That's pretty good. My battle bot is still accessible, so that's good. Except I'm in front of him, which is not so good. Oh, uh, bad. What's bad? Do you not have anything to play? I mean, I do. <laughs> okay. Do you need me to do something? I don't have very many. No, I, I, it's okay. I don't have very many. Um, uh, movement cards. Oh. In a second. Okay, I've got twelve. I have. Hold on. Okay, I have 20. Okay, we both go first. Um, the imp is going to move an attack what range, or it won't move, sorry, attack range. Living corpse won't move either. Attack four, we could probably dodge him. The night demon is also not going to move. Attack two, range three. I am using my winged shoes to move three. One, two, three on the loot. OK. And then turning invisible. Cool. The plan. That, that's my turn. OK. So sadly, my battle bot is stuck behind me. Oh, well, he moves one. Yeah. I am going to back up one so that I'm not in his way for next round. OK. And then I am attacking the corpse guy for one and stunning him. OK. Two times. <laughs> so attack two and stun. 
So he won't do anything this turn. Okay. And I've got to shuffle my cards again. The night demon is not moving and is not attacking because it doesn't see me and you're not in range. The imps also don't move and they don't attack you because you're not in range. And then this guy doesn't move and won't attack you either. Because he's stunned. Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, next round. Oh, and I'm using my stamina potion. So I can get that guy and that guy. Okay, I've got 11. I have 37, I guess. Night Demon is moving first. Yikes. And you're not invisible anymore, are you? It, it turns not invisible on my, on my turn, I thought. At the start of your next turn. Yeah, I guess so. So I think I'm still invisible. Okay. So he moves five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, like that. Right. Five. E Wait. Where was he? Right here. Right here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you're right. And then attacks the air and then causes a black token to appear, but there was one already because of my turn invisible ability. Okay. And then it's my turn. Well, it like refreshes it, I guess. Yeah. Well, I'm about to use it, so. Okay. Wait a second. Uh, hmm. Oh, wait, we forgot to spawn these guys, didn't we? Oh, shit. Yeah, we did. That's a pain in the ass because they're going to be in my way. Yep. Actually, did they move on that last turn? They, they were stationary and then they okay. shot. With the, right, right. We're not in range. Three, four. And you don't want to go running through that stun trap. Okay, so I guess well, maybe they spawned over here. We could do that. Yeah, that's totally where they spawned. Okay, one and five. Okay. So what they're going to do after I move is they're each going to move one, then attack one, range four. So they're all, they're all going to be shooting at me, basically. OK. And then the living corpse is going to move to an attack. So we'll be attacking your battle bot, unless you do something or something. Or OK. There's things that are going to happen. OK. So on my turn, I think I just need to suck it up and get hit by four guys. Uh, yeah, I think, I mean, they're going to poison you. That's the ish. But I can't get, oh, you have to use the bottom part of your card, right? So mm -hmm. I can move there, but I can't actually cleanse one yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I can move and attack one of them. That's probably not a bad plan.
is it better to oh, never mind okay yeah uh one two three four five and then attacking this guy because he's right next to me mm -hmm. uh, or five attack Plus two, seven. I'm sure he's dead. He's dead. So that's slightly better. Yeah. <laughs> and now it's your turn. Okay. Um, all right. So my battle bot moves in one, two, and attacks the living corpse, I guess, for two. Okay. Zero, so just minus two for him. And then um, I move into the doorway. And I am doing another AOE. And it also does fire. So that's fun. And um, it attacks both of these guys for three. So starting with the Night Demon, I whiffed. And now the Corpse Guy plus one in wound, so that's an attack now of four, so he's dead. Very sad that I didn't do that to the other guy, but oh well. Okay, uh, these guys uh, move one, attack range four, attack one, range four. None of them have to move. They can all shoot me. So this guy rolls a, or draws a minus one, does zero damage. Blink. But poisons you, right? Yes. Okay. Poisons me. Um, and then this guy shoots me plus one, says two points. And since I'm poisoned, that's actually three points, right? Yeah. So I'm at four. The last guy shoots me plus zero. So it's one point plus one because of the poison. So I'm at two. Awesome. <laughs> Woo and then two more up here. So one appears right here. No, we'll put them right here <laughs> in the corner. Yeah. And then put the other guy, I don't know, put him on top of the loot. Okay. Eight and six. Uh, geez. Okay, so one of my moves is going to be to cleanse one of these things, right? Yeah. Um, Turn invisible again? No, I cannot. I use my cloak and I use my ability. I'm going to do a short rest real quick. Woo. Well, sad. Mm -hmm. I think you need to run in here and help me. I am going to try my best, but there's a decent chance that I am not going to make it in time. Um, I've got 23. I have 19, I guess. 19. Okay, you first. Okay. Ooh, okay. So my oh wait, did this guy kill my bat? We we didn't do this guy, did we? Did he kill my battle bot? Shit, what was he? No, yeah, he went first, remember? 
All he oh. did was five, and it didn't do anything. Okay. Okay, so my battle bot tries to hit him for two. I think we totally, we can do this. Because, like, the imps aren't going to attack me. They're just going to heal themselves. Okay. So I can do this, and the next turn I can do that one, hopefully. Okay. All right. All right. Battlebot attacks him for two. Plus one. Battlebot attacks. Oh, wait. That guy has that disadvantage thing. All right. Plus one or minus one. Yay. So he attacks him for just one. Okay. And then. I'm going to start running in, I guess. One, two, three, four. I'm in the doorway. And sadly, nothing is in range. Mm. But I'm here. I'm there. I can get closer on my next turn, I guess. OK. I'm going to um, cleanse the sky. OK. Yay. Does that mean no more imps come out of them, or what? Yeah, no more imps on that side now. And then I'm going to shoot, uh, I guess, this guy. OK. And I'm going to use my volatile bomb. <laughs> Sweet. So it'll hit the, both of these guys here. Um, so against this guy, it's attack of three plus one, so it's four. That's number seven. And then against number five, plus zero. So three points. They each heal two now. That is their turn. OK. So that guy actually took one damage, and this guy gets two back. Wait, they each shoot other people and heal them. So those two guys can heal this guy for four more points. That guy can heal that guy for two points. So they're all back up to five. Meh. There. <laughs> and okay. then two more, or one more imp appears, right? Next to. One more imp appears. These imps are terrible. And I have to do a short rest. OK. This is getting epic here. <laughs> yeah. Ah, OK. Ah, oh, this is so lame. I'm going to have to use a movement to move one, and then I can't cleanse because that takes the bottom movement card. You don't have any top movements? Uh, shoot. OK. So I have to survive a round. Yeah, you need to survive one more round. And you can't turn invisible? Nope. Shoot, because I already used my boots of striding. So I cannot get very close. You know what? I totally short rested. <laughs> that didn't help. <laughs> Oh, wait, it might have helped. It might have helped. I'm going to move and attack, I guess. OK, I'm going to do my best. Uh, sad. 
bad. I agree. Uh, I've got 23. I have 19. Oh man, the imps go first. Shoot, what did they do? Shield oh. and kill. Thank God. <laughs> okay. The imps all don't do anything because they're all at full health. I can't even believe that. <laughs> oh, I forgot to add this guy. Number four. Okay, I feel a lot better now. Like a lot better. <laughs> Okay, is it my turn now? <laughs> okay, my dude does, tries to do two damage to that guy again, and we have disadvantage. So it's plus zero, so just two damage to that guy. And then I am moving into one, two. And I, wrong one. I'm using my net shooter on these two guys. It's attack three and mobilize. And all right, so starting with the guy closest to the wall, I guess. Attack three plus zero, so just attack three. Which one is he? And he's immobilized. Not that he's trying, but I guess he's immobilized because he's already had his turn. So he's immobilized to the end of the next turn. And then the guy not as close to the wall, plus one, so four. And immobilized. That's my turn. Okay. Um, the Night Demon moves four, doesn't need to move, attacks four against your battle bot and makes a dark token appear. Four plus one, five points to your battle bot. Five points? Yeah. Okay. Not dead? No, he's not dead. Awesome. He has six. He's way better than the decoy guy. That's yeah. why I don't have a decoy guy anymore. I just have the battle bot. Okay, and I'm going to move one. <laughs> Woo and because there's a dark token, I'm attacking one of the imps. Uh, I guess this guy. Okay. I get five plus whatever. Five plus zero. He's dead. Dead. But then another guy's gonna spawn there at the end yeah, of the yeah. battle. Right where he was. Right where he was. So I won't even bother <laughs> removing the token. Um, well, now there's a loot there. Yeah. Okay, and next round. Okay. So if I, hopefully, if I go first, I can um, cleanse this thing. And then we're done. Well, we finished out the round, I guess, but we're done. I got 11. I have 37. The night demon has four. He's just going to kill my bot. Attack your bot. It's a minus one, two points on your bot. He did. Bye bye bot. Now there's another dark token. In my turn, I cleanse this guy. Wee. But we have to go through the whole round. <laughs> I think we have to finish the round, yeah. Okay. Um, so I cleanse it using that one, I guess. And then I'm going to attack. Uh, I guess I'll attack this guy. Okay. Use my freaking goggles. 
<laughs> Might as well. <laughs> Four plus one or four times two. So he's dead. <laughs> okay, now it's your turn. Okay, I'm gonna move up one and then I'm gonna heal you for three Ooh. in an attempt to keep you alive until the end of the round. Are you still poisoned? I think so. So I, I don't actually get healed. Oh. I just, just become unpoisoned. Well, I tried. Sorry. It's okay. Um, I can do. I'm not allowed to throw my healing potion at you. It says heal self only. They're going to curse. <laughs> Move attack range for it's, target two. But it's attack zero. Yeah, but they still draw cards and they, they still might do damage. That's true. And curse. Both of us are going to get massive amounts of curses in our decks. Doesn't matter because this is the last round. Mm -hmm. So we still win, right? We might go down, but we still win. As long as I survive the round. Okay. And I'm at full health. Okay. Well, uh, we'll start. We'll just start in this turn order, I guess. Okay. Red number one. He's got a range of four, so he shoots me. Um, I'm gonna pick this one so we can see. And you're not poisoned anymore so as long as they're at zero you still get zero you'll just get curse cards well but they do poison oh and well now you're poisoned but this first guy doesn't have poison on you yeah so the first guy poisons me hits me for zero poisons me and gives me a curse okay and then also i guess um hits you for zero and makes you poison and curse as well okay that's fine Okay, number four, which is this, wait, which is the dead guy. Number five, which is this guy, um, attacks me for zero points of damage, but because I'm poisoned, I get one point, All right? And another curse card. Yeah, I think so. So I'm at one point and two curse cards. And then he also attacks you for negative one damage. He heals me. <laughs> negative one plus one because of the poison, so zero. And then you get another curse card. Yay, curse cards. Number six, uh, which is this guy, shoots me for plus one, so that's two. I'm basically dead. You are dead. I can lose cards instead. I don't think it really matters. <laughs> so here's two cards. Okay, no longer dead. And then I'm cursed again. He shoots you as well, plus two, so it's three points of damage. I'm gonna lose two cards out my discard pile. Okay. <laughs> Number seven, which is this guy, has a disadvantage against me. Oh, wait, he moves one because he has a disadvantage. No, he can't. No, he's immobilized. Oh, you're right. So anyways, he gets a negative one or a plus zero. So negative one, plus one, cancel each other out. Yeah. I get another card. He also shoots you for basically two points of damage. Sad, because I don't have any more cards to get rid of. Um, and then the last guy shoots me oh you are in range of him shoots me for one point of damage i'm just going to lose these two cards instead and i get a curse card and then he shoots you for um one point of damage and the round is over we survived <laughs> <laughs> 
I have zero cards to draw and I have one hit point. I have one card to draw. And I'm super sad because my thing was to end with all of my hit points and I had it until the very end there. My thing was very hard. Gain 13 or more experience during the scenario. I only gained eight. Yeah. I actually did really well in experience. I got nine experience this run. All my right. other card was um, keep your health higher than half. There's no way that's going to happen. <laughs> my other one was not use any of my items. And I was like, I just got all these items. I want to use my items. Yeah. So okay. Far, I didn't get that, but that's okay. Okay. So we have a lot of conclusion to read. Yeah, go for it. All right. By the time the fight is over, the walls and floor are a mess of black ooze. Actually, there's still imp guys everywhere. Um, none of it is pulsating anymore, though, which is a step in the right direction. A simple mop can clean the remnants now that the dark presence has been removed. You approach the back wall and bemused bemusedly wipe away some of the grime with your finger. Most of it comes off easily, but a chalky black streak remains. Curious, you take your sleeve and begin wiping the wall more vigorously, quickly revealing some sort of runic language. With enough cleaning, you find lettering covering the entire back wall. The letters are unrecognizable, but you jot them down and head back to town, bringing the writings to a language expert at the university. It's part of a ritual, says a bespectacled quatrio, staring down at your crude writing. I'm not myself entirely familiar with the specifics, but it seems to be a ritual to wellspar or corrupt. I believe such corruption will require the use of a conduit. Quattro peers even more intently at the writings. Ah, here, something referred to as the artifact housed at the Temple of Elements. Do you want to do the rest? The Quattro rushes over to a bookcase overflowing with texts. Ah, interesting. I've heard of that before. He disappears behind a large stack of tomes. Yes, the Temple of Elements. His head pops out above the books. The Temple of Elements, said to house the Vessel of the Elements, a powerful ancient artifact capable of giving shape and power to the elemental residues around us. The book says the temple isn't even that far from here, somewhere around the fork in the Serpent's Kiss River. If you're looking to get to the bottom of the corruption, I'd start there. So we've unlocked new location, Temple of the Elements. We've gotten the party achievement following clues. And we get Rewards, 10 gold each, plus one reputation, plus two prosperity. Plus 10 gold. And plus one reputation. We're now at reputation 13. We could do some bad things now and still be okay. Okay. <laughs> if we want to do bad things. And then to prosperity puts us at, oh, above three. We can now start characters at level three. Nice. Not that we have retired anybody yet. How much XP do we get again? The XP is eight XP for finishing. Okay, 16. Uh, I leveled up. Nice. Okay. I'll do it later. Yeah, I'm, I'm only putting this sticker. Awesome. That was pretty epic. Yeah, it was pretty epic. I really thought I was going to die there. Yeah, that was. Ooh. That was definitely epic. I'm just going to pretend like we fled out of the sewers and that they definitely did not <laughs> attack us on our way out because it didn't say we had to kill everybody. So. Yeah. Well, maybe cleansing the two pipes made them all just sort of collapse in a puddle. Sure. <laughs> 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 totally makes sense. Yeah. I could totally see that. Like if this was Harry Potter, that's totally what would happen. It's true. It like it 
it dispelled it or whatever. Mm -hmm. Cleanse, cleanse was dispelled. And cool. yeah. Oh, did I just close and I didn't write down what I was doing? Mm -hmm. Okay, phew. I thought I lost what I was keeping track of in the app. Uh -huh. Would so have been. Let's go to the temple next, I believe. Yeah, I think that makes sense. We can go to the temple next time and see what else. Watch to the end. Stay tuned until next week when we go into the temple at the Serpent Kiss River. Yes. Or whatever it was. <laughs> the Temple of the Elements at the Serpent's Kiss River. There's no way things will go as poorly. <laughs> right. <laughs> Tune in next week. Same Gloomhaven time, same Gloomhaven place. Bye. <laughs>